storm's crazy. Way worse than I thought it was going to be. Good morning. Welcome back to Winter Camp. Looks like old man winter has hit Alberta one last time. I came out here to check on my trail cam, reset it for the summer, do a few chores around camp, and take home anything that doesn't need to be out here. I don't think I'll be doing too much outside today. When I got up this morning, it was blowing snow. My phone said minus one, real field minus 11. Supposed to get uh, wind gusts up to 90 kilometers an hour today. So it's definitely time to get the fire going. I'm going to build an upside down fire. Listen. It's a coyote close by. All right, so I got my feather sticks. They're not the best feather sticks, but I find poplar way easier to do them. This is pine, or spruce, sorry. Take a handful of this kindling, put that on top, just to help. Got some birch bark there too as well. Next season I have to remember to always build an upside down fire in my wood stove. I've been watching lots of videos on those old brick mason heaters and all the guys in the videos build upside down fires. And the reason for that is because your fire is on top, it'll heat up the flue quicker and you'll get less smoke inside. And by the time that fire burns all the way through this wood, you know, that's a long time. You get a much longer burn. And this fire has literally been burning for maybe five minutes and it's just nice and warm in here. So one job I have to do today is re-season this cast iron pan. On one of my last trips, I cooked some crepes and salt pork. And that salt pork really does a number on these cast iron pots. So I got some olive oil. I'm gonna let that heat up and re-season it. So in case you're new, I do keep a pantry full of supplies out here in case I ever get stranded. Probably the first time I ever seen my olive oil only partially frozen. And I probably will be having some fireball today. So I got some burgers cooking. I wanted to pick up some bison meat, but it's just too expensive. And the plan today was to do some meatloaf in my outside oven. But the weather is just too bad out there. Sometimes when I come out here, I do nothing but work. I'm always trying to stay ahead of the firewood. But today I get to relax and enjoy all this wood I cut up from past hikes.
According to the weather, which is always accurate, we could see up to 30 centimeters of snow overnight, and if we do, I will be firing up the snowmobile. Normally this olive oil is frozen when I come out during the winter, so I'm taking this opportunity to put it in a different container, something that's easier to get out. I just spotted the first mosquito of the season. Another season at winter camp has ended, but I'm more prepared than ever thanks to an old snowmobile, homemade Comatic, and a chainsaw that was given to me by my late father. This season is one I'll never forget. Bone chilling temperatures, new challenges, and plenty of hard work. I know many of you watch my videos to see our snowy landscape and subarctic climate. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my adventures as much as I enjoyed filming and sharing them.